This episode is brought to you by Sir Charles Hard Cider, which is proudly brewed in Philadelphia by Original 13 Cider Works. Visit their tasting room on American Street to enjoy their ciders, as well as locally sourced food from their kitchen. Look for Sir Charles Hard Cider in local establishments and visit SirCharlesCider.com for more information. The episode you're about to listen to was recorded live on November 18th at the Spaces Mixer. Like most live events, the audio here is slightly distorted and it does not reflect the quality of our usual podcast. We want to give a special thank you to our photographer for the event, Noble Arts. That's Noble Arts with a Z, and you can find Noble Arts on Facebook and Instagram. If you like what you're listening to and you would like to support Spaces Production, please go to www.spacesproductions.com backslash support. And there you can find three different ways that you can help support the network. Now on to the show. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Welcome to the first ever Spaces Mixer. Everyone, yeah, this is great. Awesome, awesome, thank you. There's refreshments at the table. Uh, Pour yourself up a drink, be merry. Uh, There's some pizza cut into children's slices. Because that's where we are in life. I mean, sometimes you just gotta do it that way. All right, so to introduce Spaces Production, I will say that Spaces Production came from a place of empathy. Basically, we wanted to create a platform where people who are marginalized voices can get on that platform and tell their stories, connect to other people, and share their experiences. And that is the foundation of what we're doing today. Uh, We don't just do it through the form of podcasting. We also have plans for video and other means of communication. But what it really boils down to is we wanted all those people who don't fit into the normal uh, to have a voice, to have a platform to be related to. Because at the end of the day, representation is extremely important. And I also believe monetization is just as important. So this is a donation event. (laughs) And if you feel for it, uh, donate up. There's some merch at the merch table. Uh, so with that being said, I would like to welcome you to the Spaces Mixer. We're going to be going through five podcasts today, which seems like a lot. Each podcast will be going through 20-minute spots, and then we will be introducing our new podcast at the very end. I'm super excited to get these new podcasts out to you so you can all listen to them. Um, so you will be hearing from today, and I have my cheat sheet because I've been drinking. <laughs> All right, so we have, we're going to start with the Mark and Dark show and Lulu and Pop, and then we're going to be followed up by the Both Sides podcast. Then we're going to go with the Broke But Cultured. Then there'll be three black films, and then you'll be introduced to Sexpressive, the Get Your Life Project, and the Pilot Boys. So please enjoy. Feel free. If you do want to talk amongst yourselves, just keep it down. This is actually being recorded, so technically everyone in this room, you're podcasters now. Welcome. Welcome. All right, so uh, let's get started. (laughs) Are we just going to slide right into it? Yeah. All right, that's cool. You want to introduce, you guys introduce yourself first. All right, let's check the, check, check, check. 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 Hi. Check, check. I kind of wanted to start singing a solo, but nah. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so the space is, Production started originally as Spaces X Spaces. It's a horrible name. It's very long. The SXS Network. Oh, gosh. Back in the day. And, it, at, and it, when it began, it was just me and, and my homeboy, Derek. Yeah. It's, it kind of sounded like a little porn site, but it didn't. Not really, but... It was a little... It was a little... Porn. It was a little porny. It yeah. was, it was a, it was there porny. was a little level of smut to it, but sometimes you need a little smut. Just a little, you know. Just a little. A little smeezy. Just enough to make your parents question if they made right choices. Yeah, I was kind of parents made right choices, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> and we formed the Midnight Marauders. Yes. Which was awkward because we weren't talking about music all the time. We definitely wasn't. But we, we were like, like talk about music sometimes, yeah. but not all the time. Like we would like play whole albums on our show and just. Be like, yeah, let's just rock out and then talk about like films and shit and talk I, about comics. I, and I want to say we played the whole Drake Views 
album. We didn't play the whole Drake View album. We, we only played a couple songs. We didn't play we the whole We played album. the whole Drake album. We didn't play the whole yes, We no didn't play it from beginning to end, but we played the whole Drake album. Y'all we were high and you played the whole thing. I was in the other room. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't remember playing the whole album. I remember playing a specific song. Excuse me, we were not high. We were lighting incense. <laughs> yeah, because we were playing the old. Incense, yes. Until it's legal. We were lighting incense. Shout out to Portland. Mm-hmm. Washington. Like in uh, vanilla incense, yes. I it said was good. vanilla. One time, my man, Darko, brought over a pack of incense that was so loud. <laughs> I forgot to hit record. Yep. You definitely did. And we had Selena from the Broke Book Culture podcast came through, and I don't remember hugging her. I'm kind of glad I was in my own living room. Because I wasn't even in my living room. I was in, we was in the till we room. Was, yeah, we was in the, yeah, we was in the room. We was in yeah. the real room. Well, that's great. Um, <laughs> and also, we have Lulu and Pop, which is the podcast that I do with my wife, Lauren. Say something. Hi. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and this was like our second show. We had a couple shows in between the Mark and, well, the Midnight Marauders and Lulu and Pop. Yeah. We had the round table. Yep, which I did. Um, I actually did an a episode with my man Skeez over there with the All hey. Black the joints. I did an episode with him. Appreciate uh, you coming through. It was pretty much about sports, everything about sports, Olympics to football, basketball, baseball, hockey. Right. Um, we had the, the original uh, primetime The original gamer. primetime gamers, which yeah. was short-lived. I think it was three episodes. Okay. We had the problematic life and times. Which was my podcast about politics, but that shit was depressing. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was it was really depressing. Just trying to like every week, just trying to find like the real facts, like not like Facebook stories, but like the real facts behind the story. Like when you would be like, um, yeah, like like someone got shot, and you'd be like, oh shit, and then you would see like a Facebook headline, and you would just be like, oh, this dude was innocent, X, Y, and Z, and then you would read into it. And you would be like, not only was dude ed- innocent, but like the cops were super guilty. Yeah. And it was just depressing trying to re- like do that on a regular basis. I would like to bring it back, but I mean, I can't do it. Yo, you was doing that show on traffic coming back from KOP. And that's <laughs> that's, that's kind of rough. Does anyone commute via 76 at 5 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Yeah. Just any type that's of bad. traffic. Just, just imagine just sitting in traffic doing a podcast. You're going to be angry regardless because you just want to get home after work every time. Yeah. I, you know, there's a thing called Nirvana, you know? Mm -hmm. There's like different levels of your chi and you're supposed to unlock your chakras and shit. I unlock my chakras in traffic. I definitely (laughs) found the center of myself while just staying stopped for no reason. Not an accident, not a car pulled over. Um, you just you just in traffic, just people just driving slow. Because somebody decided to put two lanes through the middle of a mountain, like that was a good idea. Like. Economy is never going to blow up, so fuck it. You know, whatever. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, so Lauren, you want to? So, the Lauren, you want to dive into the topics? Yeah, you want to do some topics? All right. So all right. we're doing a special format today, where all the shows aren't really picking their own topics like they usually do. We're all going to pick it. It's not a hat. I'm saying a hat, but it's my makeup bag. Uh, Yo. Because it has a zipper. So she has why so many of that? these. <laughs> She literally Ipsy, came out know. the room. Ipsy, mm. Ipsy, yes. We got one taker. She came out the room and she was like, how's this one? And it was like black with gold lipstick. And I was like, nah, you got anything kind of like a little gender neutral. And then she was like, how about this one? And I was like, mm, no, not that one. Is there another one? And then she's like, how about this one? And I'm like, mm, how many of these do you have? And she had like three more matter. still in the cut that didn't even get a critique yet. Wow. Yeah, I know, exactly. right? Exactly. They're full of you know, things. So. I, we haven't been married very long. <laughs> But one of the things I do know about marriage is if you just, as the husband, just shut up. That goes both ways. And that and that (laughs) goes really far. If you just be like, yup. (laughs) You'd be like, yup. All right. Yup. Something crazy happened at work. Like, yo, that's crazy. Like, yeah, yeah, all right. That's cool. Yeah. Like, I feel you. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like, yo, can you... Can you go downstairs to get the food? And you know you just took your shoes off. You about to roll up an incense. And you just like... And you'd be sick, like, yo, like, like yeah, man, man. Are you really gonna make me go back hey, downstairs, not, though? Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pick a topic. All right. <laughs> it, isn't, it isn't marriage, okay? I know marriage isn't in there. And the wonderful things about it. True. <laughs> All right, so we got these topics. Um, you might be hearing some of these type of topics recycled throughout the course of the show. 
It'd be awesome. Do, do you want to pick the topic, or do you want to go in here? You want uh, just pick the bag. Just pick it. Just, just pick, and you just get one. one. The shows you all get one pass if it's something you really don't want to talk about. I want to talk about all of them because I, I kind of made half of these. You sure did. Yep. All right. Topic number ten. What we got? <laughs> <laughs> topic ten is here's why people's sexiest man alive, i.e. Blake Shelton, is usually trash. <laughs> all right. Before we get into this. Shout out to the incomparable Kelly D for coming through with this crazy topic. Oh, man. Can I just say, sexiest man alive is some bullshit. I personally think it's bullshit because, like, all right, so, like, let's say you're the sexiest man alive in 2000, and your ass stay completely the same in 2002. <laughs> Why ain't you the sexiest man alive in 2002? Yeah, it don't yeah, make no that's... sense. You know, yeah, some people I mean, grow up, like, you know, it's, like, is the bigger picture. See, I think that what they, what they really need to do is define what makes sexy. Yeah, because it's more than just looks. Right. Like, what do you think is sexy? I mean, I'm pretty, like, generic where I'm like, you got a good personality, you pay your bills. <laughs> uh, that's hot as paying, shit. <laughs> paying bills is sexy. Yes. Your own bills? Like, paying ooh. bills on time is sexy. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> I mean, here I am thinking with the dimples. <laughs> My Ooh. boyish good looks. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not going to say... Just because I can set up an auto-pay? <laughs> you be like, yo, you bad as you shit because you pay your bill on time. <laughs> be like, looks girl. Is a given. Looks is a given, and I'm going above and beyond that because it's more than just looks. Okay. You know? All right, what about you, Derek? I'm saying it's, it's more me, like, you know, personality-wise. You know? Right. Like, if you got a sexy personality, if yeah. I can bond with you, then that makes you very, very attractive. So um, yours is also personality. Yeah, definitely. Okay. What about the yams? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the yams definitely got to be like the Crisco. Gotta be sexy. <laughs> no, yo, it got to be, it gotta be like Crisco. Let me yo. tell you something. It got to oh be like Crisco. God. If she come through and she pay her bills on times, she got a great personality, but the yams ain't popping... If I can't connect to her spiritually through the yams, I don't know. I don't know. My mom could love her. She could make a mean chicken sandwich. If I can't connect through the yams, I don't know. And I kind of would expect the same thing. If she ain't getting it from the Thao Yao, she's going to be like, I, well, I don't know. Yo, she got to have a canola oil, yo. Like, like I always tell you, she got to have a... She, <laughs> she cook, slim, ooh, you got to be cooking slim. grease out there, yo. <laughs> like that blue magic. <laughs> That grease that your no, okay. grandma would put it in your be a part. <laughs> it is better than Niagara Falls out there. That's what I'm saying. I mean, but I don't think people's looking at that. No. The shit no, thing is eating nah. people. All right. It's not looking at the, mm. the yams. Is that what you're calling it? The yams. yams. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yams. it is uh, the yams, <laughs> the yeeks. Yeah, yam centrals. Yeah, the boot cheeks. Yeah. The people are not, go, not going by the that. Yikes. I don't know what criteria they're going by, though. I don't know what criteria they're going by either, but I can tell you their criteria is off. It because is. this year, the sexiest man alive is Blake Shelton. Does anyone not know who he is? Cause that I, makes no sense. Yeah. Gwen Stefani's uglier boyfriend? <laughs> Damn. And I knew who he was. I was like, ugh. I don't, ugh. I don't watch The Voice, so I don't really I don't know either. who he is. I just knew that Gwen Stefani was with him, and I was like... He's a country singer, like, yeah. you know, some people, like... Yo, shout singer. out to country singers. Yo, country singers be pulling <laughs> up, though. Yo, in their, like, in their own niche, country singers are kind of like, they're kind of like rappers. But to be the sexiest man alive on People Magazine, though? I think Blake Shelton is the country version of, like, Jay-Z. Okay, so let me tell you this. Dwayne Johnson was the sexiest man last year, though. Dwayne Johnson? Jason, yeah, Dwayne Johnson. Jason Momoa is existing. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, you got Jason Momoa. You got Jason Momoa like snaps for Aquaman. You know what? I was I was actually talking to, to Lauren about this earlier, and I think that there has been more. Um, what is the one for the women? Because there's like sexiest man alive, and I don't Sex think they have a. Is it sexiest woman alive? Sexiest woman alive. Who, who won it? Who won it last year? Do y'all know? I feel like Beyonce, right? Rihanna. I feel like the women, black women generally win it more, because I think the last time a black man won Sexiest Man Alive was maybe Denzel in the 80s. I couldn't find it. Never? No, there was nah. no black people, right? Never. Oh, no, uh, never, never, never. Yeah. We got to confirm. We didn't even have to Google. Oh, we didn't even have to Google. We might have to go put up the Googles. Oh, man. <laughs> put up the Googles the whole time. I got you. I got you. Let me put up the Googles real quick. So I'm feeling like, Lauren, as a Caucasian lady, 
as a woman, do you think Blank Shelton is a sexy man? Not the sexiest man alive. Hell But if he came no. up, he paid not his bills even, on time. No, not even in like drunk in the bar, I'm lonely. Like, right. Not I'm even gonna talk in... to the, I'm going to talk to the bartender before I'm talking to him because there is nothing. Okay. Nothing. Like. All right. So mm -hmm. no. let's say this. Let's say we get rid of the sexiest man alive and we make our own and we could have <laughs> the trillish nigga you know. <laughs> I think I think that's good. I can give up some nominations right now. You got Idris Alba, um, Mashala Ali. Yo, I yeah. think he is definitely the winner for the Trillis mm -hmm. nigga I know. Does anyone want to yell anyone out? We got any people from the audience? We got any Trillis nigga you know? Peoples? No, 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 no. Diddy? Diddy. 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 Okay. Puff Daddy? Oh man. So. Okay. I gotta give okay. it to Diddy. All right, yeah. First of all, fine. Diddy be reproducing. Diddy got like nine kids. That's... Diddy got nine kids, two girlfriends, and a fiance. Like, I'm not mad at him. <laughs> he does make a lot of things happen. Plus, I think if anyone else was dancing on the beach and like with a dad body and, and, like, and like board shorts, like he would get clowned. But like for Diddy, it worked. Like, I think Ciroc sold a couple extra bottles that, that week when he was dancing around. So I think it's a good look, you know? Yo, I just pulled up the sexiest man list, and I don't okay. like none of this list at all. Can Damn. I show? Can I? Can I show it to you? Can all right. you read it? I want you to read it all. Let's see what we got here. All right, 1985, Mel Gibson, mm. ass. 1988, John F. Kennedy Jr., ass. I don't don't sweat on JF. <laughs> JFK Jr. has swag. Yeah, he died in '63. Get the fuck out of here. No, <laughs> that man had swag. Just. Just let it go. Not Maryland. Absolutely not. You can't always win. Don't you're not going to put John F. Kennedy in the 80s if he's dead in 1963. There's you no know way. You know what? There's, there's some. That... No, no, no. Wait. Yeah, that's his son, right? That's ass. He's, he should have been. Denzel too, Washington though. should have been up there. Yeah, Dog. Yeah, the, Kennedys be, the Kennedys be rocking it. Okay. They're dead. Cursed. So we got Brad Pitt. Cool. Cool. My dude. 95 and 2000. I'll give you what? Brad Pitt. Not, nine, not 19, 2000. No. 1996. I want to say that was the year Malcolm X came out. Mm -hmm. I no, might be wrong. 92, 92, 92. 92. What happened in 96? Space Jam? <laughs> like, 96 sounds like Space Jam, right? I don't know. It sounds like Space Jam. Maybe that was the hurricane when uh, Denzel, well, when Denzel can you, was. Can you please tell us who was 96? Okay, 96 was Denzel. 1996, Denzel Washington was the sexiest man alive. Yep. And then after that was George Clooney. So George I'll, give you, I'll give you both of those. George Clooney got swag, though. Yeah, he does. Richard Pryor, swag. swag. Harrison okay. Ford, swag. No. Chris Brosnan, trash. Hansen? Ben Affleck, trash. Old ass, yes. old ass Harrison Ford in the 90s? No, hell no. Jude Law. Damn. George Clooney hit it twice. He came back in, in 2006. Like, what's good? You guys said George Clooney, that guy. Matt Damon. <laughs> Damn, Johnny Depp hit it twice, too. 20, 2003 and 2009. Uh. Ryan Reynolds in 2010. I mean... I'll give you Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. He had that six pack. Bradley Cooper, 2011. Channing Tatum. I mean, he was booty popping everywhere. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Magic Mike Jones was drawing. I ain't watched none of them. He was, you, you ain't watch no Magic Mikes? Hell no. Why, why am I watching Magic Mike, man? Why the hell am I watching Magic Mike? I hear it had a riveting story. I hear the third act. I'm not watching I'm not watching the white dude draw, like, doing the whole thrust and everything. Bro, Keto, Donald Glover's in the second one. There you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, still, I still wouldn't even diversity. watch it. <laughs> <laughs> even though that's my man's, I still wouldn't even watch that shit. All right, and then we got uh, Adam Levine, 2013, Chris Hemsworth, 2014, David Beckham in 2015. I think that's kind of fucked up because David Beckham's been putting it on for a minute, mm -hmm. and I think he should be a little bit higher. Um, Dwayne Johnson yeah. was in 2016. Yeah, Dwayne Johnson black. He's Samoan. Samoan. He's black enough to get pulled over, though, right? He, we drafted him in the black draft, so he's he's drafted. <laughs> yeah, he's he's black. Consider he's what I like to call black adjacent. Yeah, he's he's on the, he's on he's on like the curve of black. You know, <laughs> he got drafted in the, in the racial draft, so he's black. I mean, at what but at, how do you at what go point? From that? To Blake Shelton? Exactly, to Blake Shelton. It's almost like a computer error, and they just went with it. You know, they were like, oh shit. Yeah. It's printed. I mean, right. maybe he makes good music. I don't listen to it. No, I'm, I, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, I'm cool off him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Oh, no, we got like nine minutes. Okay. I was just letting you know. Damn, should we do another topic? Hmm. 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 
pull another topic in 10 minutes. That's cool. We can it'll, right, it'll we can be knock a it speed off. round. Uh-huh. You hear this is the got to do it for the people, the listeners, because yeah. they can't see nothing. They can only hear. You know, you got to sometimes just get them in there, get them in their ear hole. Okay, number three. Oh, this is a long topic, too. It is a long topic. Handling. Pass. Okay. Yeah, that's a long topic. That's a good topic. I hope someone else will get <laughs> Yo, Mark will be number two. <laughs> yeah, you know that. So I will get my husband a shot because this is number two. heavy. Number two. Number, number two. Oh, yes, this is a good one. How long is too long to wait for a sexual encounter with someone you care about? Damn, in nine minutes, huh? It, it's never <laughs> too. Is, can, I, can I start off? Can I start off real quick? I'm going to start off and then let y'all swing. Huh? It ain't never too late. If you care about me, it's never, it's never too late. I, oh, Darren. I, I feel like. like Yo, just get the games, dog. I don't gotta stop you right there. <laughs> just get the games, no. Nah. If you were walking through the hallway, I would put my hand on your chest and be like, no, 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 no. That's not the way to go. What if she said? You're not going to just put your hands on her chest, though. Yo, but what if she said marriage? What did you say? What marriage? if she was waiting till marriage? Oh, she chalk. <laughs> <laughs> no. So like, how does that <laughs> work? How do you never is too long? Are you ready for marriage? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I would say. You know when it's too long. <laughs> I feel like, huh? it's, not, I feel like <laughs> it's not the same for everyone. That's not it's, not, it's, not it's not the answer. Like, it's not the same. So if I'm with Lady A and I'm like feeling the chemistry, and then it's like, well, yeah. But if Lady B is a little bit different, and I'm like, yo, I'm really on, I'm really on the mentals. And then Lady C, I kind of wasn't feeling her at all, but she's really growing on me. Like, oh snap. Then you just like, okay, cool. But it's, I don't think you can just be like, yo. If you're not giving me the yams in three weeks, like we got nothing to talk about. You can't blanket that across the board. What if it's a long distance relationship? I mean, you're not gonna blanket yeah. that across the board, but you know when it's not. Like, you know. I can tell you when it's too long, though. What's too long? When is what is too long? When you got when that shit hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like I think if you laying up at night and you got like what I like to call the mega boner. Oh, is she giving Ew. you blue balls? Is she? Oh yeah, then yo. Signing yeah. off. If you get the blue balls as an adult, you need to make changes in your life. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is definitely like some junior high, high school shit. Like you gotta like know what's going on. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, 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 blue balls yeah. and you can buy alcohol. Like you need to, you need to make some changes. <laughs> you need to like figure your shit out mm, and mm, get mm, too mm. much yourself. I don't know, masturbate in front of a mirror. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do to like get to like know yourself. Yeah. Cause at at some point we just gotta stop. You know what? I was thinking this the other day. And at some point, you just got to get to a certain age where you just respect yourself. Mm-hmm. Like the other day, somebody was like, yo, do you have any mints? And I said, no, I got some candy. And they said, that'll work. And I said, you are not an adult because candy is not a form of breath mint. It's just not a form of breath mint. But it's you not. were a grown man with candy? Just <laughs> <laughs> out on the table. Oh, okay. If I'm walking by okay, I was just like, you should be and a there's a pack of sprees <laughs> that are free, Days is mine. <laughs> he has some hot ass Starbucks in his pocket. <laughs> I don't for days. I don't put candy in my pocket because that should get gross. That should have melted together. Should have been one brick of candy. Should it be a weird color, translucent? Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, that wraps it up for us for the Lulu and Pop and the Mark and Dark show. Um, I want to say you can catch. Well, you can catch the Lulu and Pop show weekly, generally on Monday. It's usually me and Lauren. Uh, what is our Instagram? Um, it's Lulu and Pop. A n l u l u a n d p o p. Also, you also always have to add. It's an interracial love, John. You have to add that. You never told me to do that. You have like I, I feel like it that. just brings out the Philly. So you'd be like, yeah, it's Lulu yeah. and Pop, an interracial yeah. love, John. It is. I uh, this is a side note. I saw a T-shirt the other day on Instagram that said John is my pronoun. And I was like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that, man. Yo. I think I love John. It's like a not you, gotta embrace, you gotta embrace the John, man. Can you wait till that thing get in Webster? Webster's gonna just be like, I, I don't fucking know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Adjective, noun, verb, whatever. However you wanna use it. Really shit. Punctuation, whatever. It's, it can be used as anything. We're here for it. Mm-hmm. And you can catch the Mark and Dark show bi weekly. Bi weekly. We usually record on a Wednesday, so you can hear it on a Thursday or Friday. Yep. Um, and we're also adding to the Patreon. The spoilers of Mark, the spoilers and Dark. Of Mark and Dark, where we spoil um, superhero movies. Yeah, we're gonna 
light some incense, plug in some microphones, and talk cash shit about your favorite films. Oh, yeah. So yeah. The next joint should be uh, Justice League for the next joint? Nah, man. I'm thinking we should do... Black Panther? Nah, man. <laughs> we should do Car Wash. Ooh. Nigga, what? Yeah, like Snoop Dogg, Car Wash. And on that note, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're going to take a quick five-minute break, and then next up we will be having both, both sides. sides. Both sides? So I excited. hope you're ready. Also, I will be in the back at the merch table, also collecting donations um, for the entry. If you want to donate, this is a Completely Spaces-funded event, yes. so anything helps. Also, we have some apparel back there, too. Yeah, yeah. And, and booze to the right. Yes. Help yourself. All this liquor, so <laughs> please drink up. And we got some chips and dip, so y'all yeah. better drink some chips and dip. Like, real rap. And pizza, too. I gotta take my like a motherfucker, yo. I gotta do like a shit.